have you already claimed your taxes? Didn't you forget about the solar tax credit? Actually, claiming it is less difficult than it seems to be. This is Tanya from A1 Solar Store and today I'll show you how to fill out a form to claim a solar tax credit for your solar system in 5 minutes. First, a few words about what a solar tax credit, or as they sometimes call it, investment tax credit, ITC, is. It's a dollar-for-dollar -dollar reduction in the amount of income tax you owe. So it's not a tax deduction or a tax refund. For example, claiming a $1,000 tax credit reduces your federal income tax due by $1,000. The solar tax credit is currently 30% of the total solar panel system cost, including both parts and labor. You can claim a 30% tax credit in 2023 if you own, not lease, a solar system installed last year. The system is located at your residence in the United States. You owe income tax for 2022. Well, that's briefly it about the solar tax credit. Let's take a look at the form and fill it out. Well, we go to Google and search for IRS Form 5695. What we need are these two links, the form itself and the instructions. We'll also need Schedule 3 to Form 1040 and the Form 1040 itself. So let's find and open them too. Good. Uh, we start with the name, which is OK, let it be John Smith. Um, we are writing John's number. OK. He installed a solar system on his roof last year, which was, let's say, $20,000. The panels, labor, installation, everything. And we put it on line one, electric property costs. You see, there are some other categories like water heating, wind energy, and so on. So you can fill them out as well if it is applicable to you. If it is not, just put the same number on line 6a. Line 6b shows what credit you are eligible for, which is 30% in our case. So 30% times the 20,000 is the $6,000. Tick no at 7a and then go straight to line 13. This is the total amount of credit, which is still $6,000 for John, as he's got only one improvement. Now line 14. This is also very important. Limitation based on tax liability. So you cannot take a credit in excess of what your tax liability is for the year. And here is where we will need the instructions to the form. But honestly, this one is quite useless until you are claiming some other credits, because they would shrink your limit. If no other credits are claimed, write the amount of income tax you owe. So for John, making, say, 125000 a year, it would be, okay, $10,000 depending on his income tax rate. So here is the limitation. The maximum amount he can claim is $10,000. But with his solar system, he qualifies only for six, which means he will get the whole sum at once. Let's imagine John owes $5,000 of income tax. This is less than what he qualifies with his solar system. So this year, John will get $5,000 and the remainder will roll over for a maximum of five years. Well, the last step is to report the tax credit on Schedule 3, where you have the credits and payments. The residential energy credit is listed on line 5, and then ultimately this amount is transferred to page 2 of the Form 1040, where John gets a credit against his taxes for the amount of the residential energy credit. So there is the $6,000 again, so he takes the $10,000 minus the credit and that's the adjusted tax liability, $4,000. Now I'm gonna answer some frequently asked questions we often get from our clients. I install used solar panels instead of new. Do they still qualify for the solar tax credit? The answer is no. 
it can only be used on equipment that is new or being used for the first time. Does ITC apply for mobile solar systems? Here is the trick. You can claim deductions on RV as second home, and the solar credit should also apply. Am I eligible if I financed my solar PV system instead of paying for it upfront? Yes, if you financed the system through the seller of the system and you are contractually obligated to pay the full cost of the system, you can claim the federal solar tax credit based on the full cost of your system. Expenses like the interest owed on financing, origination fees and extended warranty expenses shouldn't be included into the cost of a solar system. Am I eligible if I bought solar panels but have not installed them yet? No, the tax credit is only for systems which are installed and launched last year. Can I get a refund if the tax credit exceeds my tax liability? This is a non-refundable tax credit, which means you will not get a tax refund for the amount of tax credit that exceeds your tax liability. However, you can carry over any unused amount of tax credit to the next tax year. Some try to increase tax obligation by converting a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Is the cost of a roof replacement eligible for a tax credit? Well, sometimes. Traditional roof materials and structural components that serve only a roofing or structural function do not qualify for credit. However, some solar roofing tiles and solar roofing shingles serve both the functions of solar electric generation and structural support. And such items may qualify for the credit. Do I need to submit any other documents to get the tax credit? You file Form 5695 together with the standard Form 1040 and other forms you need to file. As for the invoices and receipts, you don't need to provide them, but please keep them as long as you can. So in the event that the IRS ever audits you, you would be able to prove that you really qualified for that credit. Also, speak to your contractor or developer to make sure they will provide you with adequate documentation. Why is it important? If you don't have that, then it's going to be a real challenge for you to substantiate your eligibility. Because the IRS knows that a lot of people are claiming these credits and they are frankly fraudulent. So your Form 5695 might be subject to an audit. Well, these were the answers to the most common questions that people ask. Feel free to ask the questions about claiming the solar tax credit in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Don't put off filing your tax return. That's for Stania from A1 Solar Store. See you next time. Bye.